When you try to log in to the Lincoln's mobile client, you might get the error indicating that you failed to connect to server. It's really bothering. How can we solve this issue? Well, let's just check this out. Basically, there are three common causes. The first one, Lincoln's server hasn't been enabled. And the second one, incorrect port forwarding on the router. The last one, logging via IPv6 network. Well, as server's VoIP PBX works as the server for Lancus, so we need to enable the Lancus server on your PBX, which can be done easily by going to Lancus setting page on your web GUI. Find Enable Lancus server and check it. If you somehow disable it, Lancus clients will be disconnected immediately. And then, we need to check port forwarding. When you're using an Asterisk PBX, you need to deploy a static public IP address and set port forwarding on the router to allow Lancus clients to access the PBX remotely. So if your port forwarding is not right, you will have failed to connect to server problems. Of course, if your Asterisk PBX is using Lancus Cloud Service or your PBX is Yeast or Cloud PBX, you won't have the port forwarding issue and you can simply skip this part. To make sure that port forwarding has been down properly, we need to check three sets of ports, each for one necessary service that makes remote registration possible. The ports are A111, both UDP and TCP, which is for Lanka service, and port 5060 UDP for SIP service, as well as 10,000 to 12,000 UDP for media packets. All you need is to prepare three sets of available ports on your router with access to the public internet and assign each of them to the corresponding service, like showing in the video. Remember that all port forwarding has to be configured on the router, so please confirm with your router supplier to see how to do the setting on the equipment you have. Then, if the problem happens only on some of the Lancus clients, you can check to see if it's caused by IPv6 network settings on Android phones. Lanka's mobile client has been already compatible with most IPv6 networks, but not all carriers are ready to support it. Therefore, if your mobile phone acquires IPv6 network while the carrier supports only IPv4, you will have a problem. To solve this issue, please try to change your network to IPv4 on your mobile. So here's another question. How do we change the network to IPv4 on our Android phone? Take this as an example. Go to the SIM card settings. Then we find access point names. A next step, go for APN protocol. Then we choose IPv4. If you don't know how to switch to IPv4 on your Android phone, please just contact the tech support of your mobile. Alright guys, guess that was all we have for this one and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Get more details about troubleshooting, check our knowledge base. Get more information about system configuration, please visit our document center and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>